In today's video, let's learn how to create this scrollable menu. You can click on each item as well, right? To lead to different page. Let's have a look at the code now. So here, this is the HTML code, right? Ending with dot HTML. And we have this CSS, which does the trick, okay? Which achieve the result. So now let's look at the first one, the scroll menu. So you set the width to 100, right? 100%. And this is the overflow X. So what this mean? So this mean a horizontal scroll bar will appear if the content overflows horizontally. Okay, so what if you don't use the overflow X here, right? Let's have a look. Here, when I scroll to the left, okay? It basically scroll the whole page rather than just this menu okay that's why you can use the overflow x set to auto and there's a scrollable bar right here right for the white space um that we set it to no wrap it means that the text inside the element it will not be wrapped to the next line okay so it just stay in the same line and these are just um, the styling. Uh, we just use the padding, okay, and what the color of the uh, button look like, right? The gray one and the border radius uh, text decoration here. We don't want to have the underscore shown. So we just choose this to uh, none and the color. This is the color of the text. And the last child here, the margin, we set it to zero. Okay, so there's no margin. And this is the active. So whenever that we click on a button, it become active. We set the color, right? You can also change to different colors for. Well. And this is the scroll uh, menu itself. We just call it uh, from here, the style. And here inside the div, we just set each menu item, okay? So we have page one up until page seven, or you can add more as well. So this code here, when I click, let's say on the page number two, right? It just open up the page number two. So this mean that there are separate pages, okay? It's not in the same page, but basically in this tutorial, you learn how to create the scrollable menu, right? Using the overflow X and also white space with the width and also the uh, display we set to flex as well. So that's how you achieve this result. And there are also more as well. Let's say like this one, right? Menu number five, but we are not going to get into this. This is using a script, okay? Using the JavaScript uh, to achieve this result. Let's have a look. Menu number five, okay? We have this as well, the same thing, right? But this one here, it is only in one file, okay? You can click on each item, right? And we see different content whenever we click on any of the item, okay? So this is only in one page. For menu number six here, this is using the lazy load. Um, let's have a look as well. Again, don't worry about this. This is not the purpose of the video. But for this one, okay, when I click on each of the item, it's just showing me the loading dot dot dot, right? This is the lazy load. So what this does is, when I click on one of the item, it just switch, okay? It just switching the page that I click on. So let's say I click on page number four, it will switch the page number four dot HTML. But right now we are running locally. We are not fetching it from the server. So that's why we keep seeing text loading, right? So this approach is different from the one that I show you, okay? In page number one here, basically we click on one of the item menu and then it just open up the other page, okay? So it will open different pages. But this one, okay, it only inside this code itself and click on the item, it will use the function fix to fix the data from the server, okay? And for this one here, this is another one, right? Whenever I click on one, it will hide the rest of the content and it show the one that is active. So this is menu number five. But again, don't worry about that. The purpose of this video is to know how to implement the scrollable menu, okay? So the horizontal scroll menu with clickable buttons. So that's pretty much for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video.